Denver, Colorado. Ryan Parmar, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Jenny Scoggin, Camdenton, Missouri. Cameron Adams, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Teeley Martinez, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Tyler Maddox, Buffalo, Missouri. Kira O'Brien, Waterford, Ireland. Vladimir Sidorkin, Kochliarve, Estonia. Toronto, Canada. Havana, Cuba. Seoul, Korea. Tel Aviv, Israel. Stuttgart, Germany. Ryan Fitzgerald, St. Louis, Missouri. Stacy Razo, Los Angeles, California. Frederick Peter Jensen, Copenhagen, Denmark. Samantha Rose, Springfield, Missouri. Micaela Capodistria, Cyprus, Greece. Brendan Langford, San Antonio, Texas. Alexis Stutt, Abilene, Kansas. Caleb Cole, Lee Summit, Missouri. So today we're taking uh, samples of uh, small in invertebrates in the stream just to kind of get an index of what the biodiversity in the stream is like and kind of what the stream health is. It's very different from high school and honestly like a lot of other colleges too because when you get a lot of bigger courses I don't think they get the opportunities to come out here and enjoy the spring and we have a really good environmental science program where we get those opportunities and we get one-on-one -on -one contact with our teachers to actually learn about our native systems in Missouri. Outside of biology, many professors take their students out of the class for applied learning, and, and we call it experiential learning, and it's just a really wonderful time for students to interact as you would interact in a job to accomplish a task in the field. I think it's essential because when you just sit in a lecture room, you don't really learn how to use the material or how to even ask a question that uses the material that you've learned. So it, it creates a higher level of learning for the students. Yeah, I, I didn't think of it as coming to class. You know, it wasn't class at all. It was like, oh, I get to go outside and, you know, apply some knowledge and stand in a creek. It doesn't really get much better than that on a day like this. <laughs> right from the beginning that it was the school for me. We're going to define public health and its relevance to global health. Since it is a smaller school, um, you get the opportunity to be involved more places and also to hold leadership positions in more places. So it was so easy to um, find my niche and I've seen other people be able to do the same thing really easily. Yep, let's do this. I really, really love being a part of the Greek system at Jury. Um, my own chapter uh, has really helped me find leadership opportunities as well as um, philanthropic opportunities. I would definitely say to any incoming jury student that um, you can stop worrying about being involved because it, it'll happen if you want it to. All right, on mark, it's set, fire. Missouri is very different from Maine, from the food to how people greet each other. We don't say y'all in Maine. I was pretty much accepted. They sometimes made fun of my accent when it came out when I say lobster instead of lobster. Our next building right here is Pearson's Hall. What drew me to Dre was the small class sizes and that not a lot of universities offer that and also my professor and student interaction outside and inside the classroom. There's a lot of big community down here which really supports Dre which is very nice so when you have a Dre shirt on you're are automatically uh, associated with this prestigious college. And rumor has it if you sit on one of these stools while you're studying for a test, uh, you get an A on that test. You really know people on our campus, which is nice. And you see people every day that will say hi to you, which is really cool. And when I'm on the tours, people say, hi, Dinika, how are you? And families really enjoy that, where at some larger universities, you will never see someone that day that you know. <laughs>
this day. You are fulfilling a promise to yourself to find the strength, the courage, and the confidence to unlock your greatest potential. Shakespeare's plays worked on so many different levels. Who wants to give me the facts of Marbury versus Madison? Okay, Jamie. Do you know the mother man who the jury Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience.